received this comment about knitting baby pants and this will be the topic of today's video. The pants I'm going to knit today are model 2070 from Passive Baby magazine. I asked my friend Kaylee to help me make this video and she explained to me how to knit them. To make them we need to knit two pieces. The back piece is on the left and the front piece is on the right of the chart. Let's start by knitting the back piece. First make sure the racking handle is in its lowest position. Now raise 22 needles on the front bed of the machine. Use the orange ruler and arrange the needles in a one-to-one -one division then place the edge springs on the last working ones. Set the front lock to N and the stitch size to 1. The back lock must be set to GX. Now insert the black strippers. Move the lock to the color changer, take a contrasting color yarn and knit one row. Raise the empty needles on the front bed and move the left edge spring on the last working needle. On the front lock increase the stitch size to 4 and knit one row. Clear the row counter and increase the stitch size to 5. Now knit 20 rows with the waist yarn. Don't forget to tap on the needles when knitting the first few rows to tighten the yarn. Clear the row counter then set both locks to N and the stitch size to 3. Move the lock to the color changer and cut the waist yarn. Retread the machine and take the main color yarn for the pants. Remove the black strippers and insert the orange ones. Move the edge springs to the sides and take the knitting on a decker comb. If you don't have a decker comb, you may need several rows with another color yarn and drop the piece. Rotate the racking handle anti-clockwise to its upper position. On the front bed put 40 needles in working position then put the edge springs on the last working ones. Then raise the opposite 40 needles on the back bed and put the edge springs on the last working ones. On both beds arrange the needles in a one-to-one -one division and move the edge springs on the last working needles. It should look like this. Knit one row, then set both locks to CX and increase the stitch size to 4. Now knit two rows. Set both locks to N and increase the stitch size to 5. Now knit one row to finish the cast on. Clear the row counter and knit 10 rows. Clear the row counter and set the stitch size to 3 on both sides of the lock. Move the lock to the color changer, cut the main yarn and retread the machine. Move the edge springs to the sides then use the double eye bodkin tool and transfer all stitches to the opposite needles on the front bed. Now take the 40 stitch decker comb and put these 40 stitches on it. If you don't have a decker comb need several rolls of waist yarn and drop the rip. Now you have to repeat the same steps. Raise the same 40 needles on the front and on the back beds.
Place the edge springs on the last working needles, then arrange the needles in a one-to-one -one division. Move the edge springs again. Knit one row, then set both locks to CX, increase the stitch size to 4 and knit 2 rows. Set both locks to N and knit 11 rows. The row counter must be at 14 rows. Move the edge springs and transfer all stitches to the opposite needles on the front bed. Make sure all needles on the back bed are out of working position. Return the rocking handle to its lowest position. Drop the front bed and move the left edge spring to the left. Take the decker comb with the contrasting color yarn and rehang the stitches right next to the knitted rib that is on the machine. If you have dropped the piece on waste yarn, you have to remove it after the stitches are rehanged. Now take the 40 stitch decker comb and rehang the ribbing to the left of the waist yarn. You will have 40 stitches of ribbing followed by 22 stitches of waist yarn and then another 40 stitches of ribbing. Place the left edge spring on the last working needle and raise the front bed. Clear the row counter, then set the front lock to BX. Then set the back lock to GX. Remove the orange strippers and insert the black ones. Raise pushers on the row working needles on the front bed. Put all of the pushers in resting position, then raise 22 pushers under the needles where the contrasting color waist yarn is attached. Now put 5 additional pushers in working position to the left. Retread the machine and knit one row with the main yarn. Now raise 5 pushers on the right side and knit one row. Continue repeating these steps until all the pushers are in working position. The lock will be on the right side of the machine and the row counter will be at 16 rows. Please don't forget to support me by liking the video. You can also share it with your friends and leave me a comment below. This will help me make more videos like this one. Clear the row counter, then set the front lock to N. Use the 40 stitch decker comb, take 40 stitches on the left side and move them one needle to the right. Then put the empty needle out of work, move the edge spring on the last working needle and knit one row. Move the right edge spring, take 40 stitches on the right side and move them one needle to the left.
Then put the empty needle out of work, return the edge spring and knit 3 rows. Now repeat the same steps. You must repeat them 11 times in total or until the row counter is at 44 rows. If you don't have a decker comp, you can use a 3 or 5 prong tool and transfer the stitches in groups. The pushers are not used in this part of knitting the pants, but I left them in working position intentionally. You may use them to count the decreases. Now you must have 11 pushers on each side in resting position. Don't reset the row counter. Knit 30 rows without changing the settings on the lock. Now clear the row counter then set the front lock to BX. Put all resting pushers out of work. Put 5 pushers on the left side in resting position and knit 1 row. Now put 5 pushers in resting position on the right side and knit 1 row. Repeat these steps until only 10 pushers are left in working position in the center of the knitting. The row counter should be at 14 rows. Clear the row counter and set both locks to N. Remove the black strippers and insert the orange ones. Move the lock to the color changer, cut the main yarn and retread the machine. Rotate the racking handle anti-clockwise to its highest position. Use the double eye botkin tool and transfer the stitches in a one-to-one -one division. Place the edge springs on the last working needles and put all empty needles out of working position. Now knit 8 rows. Then we have to make an open row to thread an eye cord. Don't reset the counter. Move the leftmost edge spring and transfer that stitch to the right needle on the front bed that has a stitch on it. Then transfer the next stitch to the back bed as shown in the video. The stitches must look like they are arranged in groups of two. After you transfer all of the stitches, make sure the empty needles are in working position. To clarify, the working needles must be arranged in a one-to-one -one division. Now knit 4 rows. Clear the row counter and increase the stitch size on the back bed with 4 clicks. Then move the edge springs to the sides and transfer all stitches to the opposite needles on the front bed. When all stitches are transferred, make sure the opposite needles on the back bed are in working position.
Rotate the rocking handle clockwise to its lowest position. It should look like this. Now knit one row and lower the front bed. Use the latch hook to make a chain stitch cast off on the front bed. Pull the yarn through the last stitch and raise the front bed. Move the edge springs to the sides and remove the knitting from the machine. Now the back side of the pants is ready. We need to knit the front part as shown in the right chart. If you look closely, part A is the same for both pieces. Part B on the front piece is the same as part C on the back. Then part C on the front piece is the same as part E on the back side. Now let's knit the front part. I have already knitted the piece with the waist yarn and both parts of the ribbing. You can rewind the video if you want to follow along. After knitting the second rib, transfer the stitches to the needles on the front bed and rotate the rocking handle clockwise to its lowest position. Clear the row counter and set the back lock to GX. The front lock must be set to N. Now remove the orange strippers and insert the black ones. Move the lock to the color changer, cut the main yarn and retread the machine. Slide the left edge spring to the left and drop the front bed. Take the small decker comp and rehang the knitted waist yarn to the left of the ribbing. Now you have to rehang the second part of the ribbing to the left of the waist yarn piece. Put the edge spring on the last working needle and raise the front bed. Now knit two rows. Clear the row counter. Use the 40 stitch decker comb, take 40 stitches from the left side and move them one needle to the right. Put the empty needle out of working position, place the edge spring on the last working one and knit one row. Now move the right edge spring, then take 40 stitches on the right side and transfer them one needle to the left. Put the empty needle out of working position, rehang the stitches and return the edge spring. Then knit 3 rows and repeat these steps until the row counter is at 44 rows. Don't reset the row counter. Now knit 30 rows without changing the settings on the locks. Clear the row counter, then set the back lock to N and insert the orange strippers. Rotate the rocking handle to its upper position and use the double eye bodkin tool to transfer the stitches in a one to one division. Put the edge springs on the last working needles and knit 8 rows. Then you have to make an open work row. Start by transferring the leftmost stitch on the back bed to the front bed. Then transfer the next stitch on the front bed to the back bed and continue until you transfer all of the stitches.
then make sure the working needles are arranged in a one-to-one -one division. Now knit 4 rows. Clear the row counter and increase the stitch size on the back lock with 4 clicks. Then transfer all stitches to the opposite needles on the front bed. Use the orange ruler and put all empty needles in working position. Rotate the racking handle to its lowest position and knit one row. Now drop the front bed and use the latch hook to make a chain stitch cast off. Then you have to remove the knitting from the machine. This is the back piece of the pants. It is bigger than the front one. I will place it on the desk with the wrong side facing up. And this is the front piece of the pants. I will place it with the right side facing up. Now you have to sew the side seams, then sew the crotch area using the Kitchener seam. It should look like this. I'm surprised by how well my seams look. At this point I can remove the waste yarn. I will use the orange tool to help me remove it. And this is how it should look like. Now the last step is to thread the eye cord through the open row in the rip. And now you can see the final result. I think the pants look very cute and I'm very happy that I successfully made them. That's all for today, have a nice day and see you in my next video!